if you're familiar with Herco, you're familiar with a few of our conversational options that we offer for programming. One of those is a feature called UltiPocket. Sometimes we get questions on why a certain uh, control option is necessary, and UltiPocket is one of those. With UltiPocket, I'm able to take in any irregular shape. In this example, I'm showing a lines and arcs contour and be able to turn that into a pocket. It also gives me the ability to leave multiple islands in the middle of that pocket. Without the LT pocket option, I can still program conversationally, but the only things that I can pocket will be circles, frames, and ellipses. So if the work that you're doing requires pocketing of irregular shapes, then LT pocket is something that you would, would uh, want to purchase. Again, here I have a mill contour with a simple circle pocket island in the middle. This is a irregular shape or a lines and arcs contour. And you can see that I'm pocketing that out, leaving the island standing. The other thing that Ulti Pocket gives me, let me change my graphics to tool path here. You can see that <clears throat> the standard pocketing is just a racetrack type pattern. We're going to make a, a path step over percentage of the tool, make another pass, and so forth. One of the other benefits to UltiPocket, in addition to the spiraling of the toolpath inward and outward, we also have a couple of different selections here for what we call AdaptiPath, which is a high-speed pocketing algorithm. If I were to select AdaptiPath one way, for example, it asks me for a target step over percentage of the tool. Let's say that we want a 30% uh, constant engagement of the tool. We don't ever want the tool to engage more than 30% of its diameter. I put 30% here for the target step over. And you'll get to see a much different tool path. We're going to spiral out everywhere that we can, and then it will continue to cut, always climb cutting uh, to remove material. It also gives us the ability to do rest machining. So I could use a large roughing tool. I want to finish with maybe a small 3 8 inch diameter tool, but in between there I want to clean out the rest of the material that the large roughing tool couldn't get. So it also gives us the ability to use a rest machining tool to remove the majority of the tool or of the of the material before the final tool path. Hope this was helpful. Hope uh, this clears up any questions that some people have had about Ulti Pocket. And uh, to find out more about Herco, please visit the website at www.herco.com.